130, and now she's up in the 400s. They've really found a rhythm. Jared Elliott said we tried to go too fast, too early, and so they had to work on that kind of tempo to that back set, and they have certainly found it, as you saw there. It's important, too, because they'll run Asia O'Neal on the slide behind the setter. That's such a key part of their offense, and that connection has gotten stronger. Free ball back to Texas, but it's coming right back. There's the slide to Asia O'Neal, and it's dug up by MJ Hamill. Sarah Franklin readjusting. Emma Halter steps in the bump set. Maddie Skinner to the back corner. Out of system set, Emma Halter does a nice job getting that ball high so Maddie Skinner can go deep corner cross court right between two defenders. Excellent placement by Maddie Skinner. Madison Skinner won a national championship in the 2020 COVID season with Kentucky with her sister transferred to Texas and won a title last year. Wouldn't a third be nice? Service error for the Longhorns. For Wisconsin, you talk about a hot start. Started the season 18 and 0. That is a school record. They have 30 wins for the eighth time, the second time in the last three seasons. And they went 17 and 0 at home. Don't mess with the field house. Little to Skinner going for the tip. It dances across the net tape. Devin Robinson right side. Ashburn will go with Franklin now. Dug up by Skinner. She'll get the swing. Skinner again off the block and out. Point Longhorns. Devin Robinson looking at our head coach. Asking possibly for a challenge. And Kelly Sheffield is going to challenge this. And immediately after the block, Devin Robinson thought that the ball grazed Maddie Skinner on the way down. Each team gets two challenges. If you're correct in your challenge, you get to keep it. I do not see a touch there. It goes off of Devin Robinson and then... Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it touching Maddie Skinner. No, she actually does a nice job of ducking her way out of it. So they're still taking a look at this. The original call was no touch, and then it was a point for Texas. And another early challenge here. We saw this in the first match, too. And you see Maddie Skinner explaining it to Emma Halter. I didn't touch that. Yeah. So we have a decision. is confirmed so Wisconsin down to one challenge unless we go to a fifth set they'll get an additional challenge Wisconsin running a stack on the left side of the court Devin Robinson number 10 in white most likely going to run all the way across the court to get to that right side and the serve sails long for Maddie Skinner talking about Skinner how much do you think confidence has to do with her performance, especially in this postseason? Everything. She's been able to step up, lead her team, and in, in really embrace that role, a role that she wasn't that comfortable with because she lacked that confidence. Well, you're filling a huge role, right? Logan Eggleston, who was a longtime captain and leader for Texas, graduating last year, leading them to a national championship. And then you have to fill her shoes. So a touch on it's a point for Jenna Winnis in Texas. I think Jared Elliott said it best. You don't have to be Logan Eggleston. Just be you. You is good enough. And, you know, she wanted a second chance. She transferred from Kentucky, came to Texas, and said she needed to refine her love for the game. So no touch, the call is reversed, and Wisconsin will get to keep their challenge. They have one remaining unless we go to a fifth. 
Wow, kind of like in our first semifinal, we saw John Cook use two challenges early in the first set. I mean, we haven't even reached 10 points yet. <laughs> Sarah Franklin serving. Winnis takes it. Ellis Swindle going. Maddie Skinner out of the back row. And this is something you're going to see all evening long. Great set by Swindle to go on the up back row big set to Maddie Skinner. Nobody's home. She's got the whole court to work with. She is so lethal from the back row. You can't lose sight of her no matter where she is on the court. Carter Booth turns it and drops it in, but going back to Madison Skinner. Out of the back row, 27% of end system swings come from the back row. She hits 314 out of the back row. That's a huge number, and if you saw in that last play, Jared Elliott is actually going to challenge this last play. Call is reversed. Ball was out. Point Texas. So we've had three challenges in this <laughs> match. Two calls have been overturned already. Texas with two challenges remaining. Wisconsin with one, unless we go to a fifth. Devin Robinson, that was in. Devin Robinson on the right side. She is one of the two opposites for this Wisconsin team. And she is dangerous offensively down that line. Julia Orzel, who has moved from outside hitter to Libero this year for Wisconsin. Gets Texas out of system. Izzy Ashburn going back to Robinson. She's blocked. Jenna Winnis. She could be an X factor for Texas. I agree. Such a great inside swing. Thumb down, wrist away swing to go angle to angle in zone four. Heck of a swing from Winnis. If she gets going, look out. I think that's a key for this Texas team. And Winnis has been up and down when it comes to her efficiency, but she was great in Stanford. Timmy Thomas, Ilara. And Bella Bergmark, the attacking error into the net point, Wisconsin. Texas wants to use Bella Bergmark out of the middle. Surprise Wisconsin a little bit, but that set too low for Bergmark. So Wisconsin makes its double sub. Meaning MJ Hamill, the new setter, comes in. She checks in along with Anna Smreck. Those two stay paired up in the 6-2 offense. That looked a lot better. What a swing. In great isolation in the middle, one on one. That's a smart way to attack Wisconsin because when they're two together and they are a wall, mm -hmm. hard to get by. Carissa Barnes, a transfer from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Timmy Thomas, I Laura. It's long, not touched. Here goes Texas. A little bit of a miscommunication and out of system for Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin thought about attacking that ball from the backcourt. Luckily, no collision between the two outside hitters. But service pressure right now, the key for Texas. Thomas Ilara. And a smack saw it coming over the net. She was the MVP two years ago when they won it all. Maddie Skinner can't fight this one to keep it on her own side. Schmack makes you pay. Anna Schmack, 6'9", out of Ontario. The tallest in Wisconsin history. Ace! Gulje <laughs> Gustekin out of Turkey. I love the passion and the celebration. And she is an international Libro, and she just learned to serve last year because international Libros do not serve the ball. She's doing pretty well. She's their best secondary setter, too. Great platform. And a Schmuck is blocked. Schmuck again off of Skinner. 
Here she goes, setting up Sarah Franklin. That's what we're talking about. Gigi with the bump set to Franklin. Good chicane with a really nice set here. She gives Sarah Franklin a lot of room to work with. Look at this. She goes over top of the block. Sarah Franklin over top of two massive blockers for Texas for the kill. And Sarah Franklin loves that sharp angle. And Kelly Sheffield was looking for that matchup. Franklin against Bergman. Maddie Skinner will respond. She's up to four kills. So MJ Hamill is the floor captain. She's the only one on the floor that can approach the up official. Talking to Michelle Prater, who is our R1 today. Franklin, duck up by Halter. Molly Phillips! Emma Halter, the new Libero for Texas, filling Zoe flex spot. Keeps it alive, and then Molly Phillips from the right side with the kill in transition. Guchikin with a nice pass. They can go to the middle with Crawford, and the kill out of the middle for CC Crawford. Nice job by Crawford getting on a low set, going wrist away for a nice kill. Wisconsin has so many weapons, and that's one of the benefits of the 6-2. Yeah, Kelly Sheffield talking to him about this system. He said there's no right or wrong system. It's how you leverage your talent. And for Wisconsin, running the 6-2 is the best option to use all of their weapons. Your personnel has to dictate the system that you're in. And they've got too many weapons, too many arms, as Sarah Franklin gets a kill, to not have them on the court. You also have two setters that have bought into that. They do. They're, they're working as a team. One comes off, one comes on the court, and they give each other feedback. They have decided to make this a collaborative setting team for Wisconsin. Kelly Sheffield said last year it was a bit of an adventure when it came to the set because they set two very different balls. But now they're much more similar, and that helps the hitters. And a snack on the run. Both sides having to hustle, but Texas is going to get that point. Well, that whole rally started with a huge stuff on Maddie Skinner, but Texas able to cover it and keep it alive. And now watch Asia O'Neill and Molly Phillips go to work, swatting that ball down. Wisconsin can't run it down. Texas up by one in a close first set. Franklin with the pass and the swing, it goes Angle! That wrist away ball by Sarah Franklin, her signature kill sharp. Texas knows it's coming and they still can't dig it. When you think back to May of this year, Sarah Franklin, they discovered a blood clot in her arm. Wasn't sure she would play volleyball again. And here she is having a first team All-American season in the semifinals. Coming back over. Halter to Winnis. Ashburn goes with Franklin. Asia O'Neill on the slide. And a net violation on Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin arguing with the down official, and she said it's your jersey that touched the net there. Jersey is a net violation, hair is not. And Holly, you can tell that Texas is really trying to test Sarah Franklin as a passer in service here. Well, you want to load her up with responsibility. She is the only player on the floor all the time for Wisconsin. Guchikin will take that pass, and the set was too tight. That's all that Franklin could do with it. Ella Swindle, a sneaky freshman. Texas the first to 15. And that's the benefit of a 5-1. You get a front row setter who can go live and she can dump Texas with a three-point lead here in set one.
including her grades in the classroom. That's impressive. Jared Elliott told us that watching her emotional development has been so much fun. She has grown into the person we know now, into the player we see now on the floor like that. Five kills hitting over 500. Maddie Skinner, the most dangerous attacker out of the back row. This time Carter Booth stays home, forcing the crossbody, but Maddie Skinner still finds a way one on one. Carter Booth in the middle, Asia O'Neal stops that. Between Asia O'Neal and Maddie Skinner, they are leading this young Texas team, and they've done an amazing job. A six to one run for Texas. Five straight points for the Longhorns. Service long out of the timeout. Nice job by Sarah Franklin, trucking that ball back to the line to follow it out. And now she'll get the chance to serve Wisconsin as they play catch up here. That's what you want out of the timeout though, right? You get your team, your opponent to have a service error. Get the momentum back on your side. Alter lays out, in comes Winnis. Tooling the block and hits the block, then the antenna, so it's out. And that's her third kill. She's come out really aggressive, managing her swings well against the big block of Wisconsin. Jenna Winnis, the transfer from Minnesota. Service error, second in a row for Texas. This one from Asia O'Neill. Texas front row setter, Maddie Skinner, available out of the back row. They try to serve at Skinner. Halter will take it instead. Winnis with the tip. Orgel to Timmy thomas Ilara. Winnis, yes! How about Jenna Winnis? She is feeling it, and you talked about it earlier. I think she's the X factor for this Texas team. If she can have a big match, she comes up with a dig, and then look at the swing down the line, perfect location deep into the court. Jared Elliott said she gained a lot of confidence from the way that she played at Stanford against Stanford. He said that was a really rewarding match. She had a little bit of sass to her, and she's picked up right where she's left off. And he, and he says he hasn't seen that sass all season till now. Well, she was hitting 111 in the tournament, and right now she's hitting 429 in this match as Devin Robinson terminates. And that shot there from Devin Robinson, not necessarily about power, just about placement between two defenders. Really nice spot. Great job dropping that ball in. So Robinson rotates out. MJ Hamill into set. Anna Smrek in to play the right side. Bergmark in the middle. Hamill using Sarah Franklin out of the back row. Halter's got to hustle to get there. Free ball back to Wisconsin. Orgel to Smrek. And a Smrek. We talked about the weapons for Wisconsin. Anna Smrek at six foot nine. One of the two right side players for Wisconsin. Watch her get her feet to this ball and just go OT over the top of the block for Wisconsin. Anna Smrek told us, it's so fun to be here and watch my teammates that have not been here before experience it for the first time, but it's a business trip for her. Jenna Wenis, another kill. Four to start for Texas. That is huge for her to get those numbers early in this match. Because, yeah, quite frankly, she's been a very streaky outside yes. hitter for Texas the entirety of the season. Tonight, all consistency. And Jared Elliott told us she has been getting extra reps all season. She's been working so hard to be more consistent. 
Skinner is blocked. In that time, Anna Smrek, number 14 in white, stayed in the middle to block that ball. Cece, number nine, who usually lines up as a middle blocker in the left hand of Smrek, gets that ball. I love that. It's a chess match, right? So if you're Maddie Skinner, you're expecting a smaller blocker inside and Cece Crawford, by switching it, you're not expecting to see that big wall. And that's a big wall at 6-9. <laughs> yes, it is. Butch to Ken, laying out for the dig. Little shot from Skinner. Hamill, backside to Smrek. Skinner readjusting. Sarah Franklin to the donut. I love that offensive decision by Sarah Franklin. Texas on the perimeter playing defense in that middle of the court. That donut is open and she throws it down. Austin, they remember that. Definitely motivation. Here they are down two in the opening set against Texas, the defending champs. Skinner. Oh, Shrek! If you're Kelly Sheffield, you like this matchup. Anna Smrek, your biggest blocker, one on one with the best hitter for Texas. And look at how big Anna Smrek is. That is terrifying at six foot nine. If you're Ellis Wendell, you've got to be able to push the ball all the way to the antenna so Maddie Skinner can swing both ways. Molly Phillips going angle but wide. And a five to one run for Wisconsin. We're tied at 20. Well, head coach Jared Elliott talked about giving her a little bit of room to cut back down the line. But Smrek takes up a lot of space defensively for Wisconsin. Service error for Guchtekin. A race to 25 points. Some teams call this the red zone once you hit 20 points. And Once A.J. O'Neal in the front row for Texas. Once you hit 20 points, got to play clean volleyball. Yes. Here's Emma Halter. Campbell with the bump set to Franklin. Skinner tips away from Schmreck. Looking to go down the line, does not get a touch. Wisconsin ties it. And the defense of Wisconsin has been the difference. They're putting pressure on Texas. And it starts with Hamill sliding under this ball to keep it alive, taking that tip away from Skinner. What a great look at that play from our crew. Great pass from Halter. Ooh. You can go to Asia O'Neal. A sixth year player for Texas. This is the rotation for Wisconsin. Carter Booth and Anna Smrek in the front row with Sarah Franklin. That's a terrifying block defensively. When those two block, they're holding their opponent to negative. Yikes. She's gotten aggressive. Okay, so you got Wisconsin in a 6-2, so they have weapons all across the net. But the beauty of a 5-1 setter is when you've got the aggressiveness to be able to go up and throw down yourself. I love that from Ellis Wendell, a true freshman. He's got some guts here, keeping this Wisconsin block honest. She said what it would be like to set somebody like that, and now she's actually doing it. She said it's been a dream come true. Yeah, Asia O'Neill in her sixth season deciding to come back. Those two have gotten the team up. to Ken laying everything on the line. Sarah Franklin drops it in. She's got six kills. The first contact for Wisconsin. Gooch to Ken, number 21 in white, puts it right in her setter, MJ Hamill's hands. And then Sarah Franklin going to that corner. We've seen all the offensive tools from Sarah Franklin already. Izzy Ashburn, the career aces leader at Wisconsin, serving.
Swindle to Skinner. Dug up by Orgel. Set point, Texas. Texas doing a good job passing that ball, staying in system. Skinner able to score. Skinner serving at Franklin. Devin Robinson Ooh. off of one foot. What a swing. Winnis. Saved by Orzel. Set one to Texas. How about that? Texas coming out hot. They hit 282 in the first set, held Wisconsin to 206. This is over. Will step back and serve. The winner of this match moving on to our national championship on Sunday to play Nebraska. Franklin, dug by Halter. Skinner blocked. Oh, and then Smrek with the throwdown. Jared Elliott arguing with the down official. I think that Smrek crossed the plane of the net and was over. She slam dunked that ball. She did. That was awesome. Referee saying that ball was on top of the net. Might have been. An ace for Wisconsin. Wisconsin is really focused on picking up the pressure from the service line. They have strategies on where they want to attack the passer, and that sets up their block. Barnes will take it. Skinner looking to swipe it off the block, does not get the touch, and Wisconsin out to a 3 0 lead. To your point, Holly, a lot of times people try to run away from Anna Schmreck because she is such a big block, but the serve forces teams out of system and they only have one place to go. Bergmark in the middle. And a net violation on Wisconsin. That will be the first point in this set for Texas. We're seeing some elite blockers on both sides of the net. Bella Bergmark for Texas, Carter Booth battling there. Net violation on Wisconsin. John Cook looking on, scouting his next opponent. Teddy Skinner readjusting, going down the lane. Hamill cleans it up. Barnes laying out. Skinner off of Sprex's hand. It's a block for Wisconsin. And these are the challenges of playing against someone like Anna Smrek. I mean, Maddie Skinner's trying to manage her offense, that time trying to go outside of the hand, and Smrek, too good, turns it in. She'll take it out of the block. Izzy Ashburn back to Franklin, but an attacking error. Point Texas. Missed time there by Wisconsin. Izzy Ashburn was on the run. She tossed that ball really high. Sarah Franklin had already started her approach at that point. A little bit uncharacteristic from Wisconsin's offense. Kayla Akata had an ace on national championship point last year. one-handed set a little too low for Carter Booth. And Carter Booth is six foot seven. You have to get that ball up high enough. She's got a high contact point. You want to lift that ball so she can use her length to kill that ball. But when it's not there, tip your way out of it. Recycle the ball and know that your defense can get you another chance. Franklin coming in. Akana will take it with her hands. 
And Patty Skinner is rejected by Devin Robinson and Carter Booth. This is by far the biggest block that Maddie Skinner will face. It'll be interesting to see. She's gotten blocked a couple times here early in set two. Great job by these. I mean, that is just a fortified wall between Devin Robinson and Carter Booth. It'll be interesting to see how she manages the frustration as we move throughout the match because they're going to get their blocks. But can you work your way through? Three blocks for Wisconsin as a team. Swindle pops it over. And I love that deep corner attack by the setter. That's just a heads up play, knowing that that left back defender is short in the court. That's three kills for Texas's setter. You guys okay? Two couple of setters over here, loving the, uh, the offense. I do. I love it. I love the aggressiveness. <laughs> will push it out to Thomas Ilara. Asia O'Neal on the slide. Orgel to Devin Robinson. Emma Halter skies it. Thomas Ilara. Timmy Thomas Ilara, the transfer from Northwestern, playing in her very first NCAA tournament. And I think she's been a little bit tentative. She needs to stay aggressive. That's when she's at her best offensively. Look at this one arm stab by Ashburn and then big swing in the cross court, finally able to beat Emma Halter. That's going to be double contact on Madison Skinner. Wisconsin has some good momentum now. Mm -hmm. And it starts with their block. They blocked a couple of balls. Big momentum plays here to start set two. Only eight teams all season have hit above 200 against Wisconsin. Their defense, their block has been so big. Texas hitting zero in this set. Texas hit 300 in the first set. in the middle. Thomas Ilara looking for hands. She will get them. Now you're just seeing the range from Ilara there. We saw the deep cross court shot gets the kill there. Great set all the way out into the antenna. She feels that line and she's able to just tip it deep. Sure, there's no slippery spots on the court. Texas won a close first set, 25 to 22. Wisconsin built momentum at the end of that set, and they've been using it here in set two. Oh, Jenna Winnis didn't go away though. Five kills in set one. Here she's back. How about Jenna Winnis, number 13 for Texas? Handles the pass, comes inside, and crushes that angle. She is feeling it today. Dribbler for Ella Swindle, just like she drew it up. Texas within one. Watch Anna Smrek possibly attack out of the middle here. They like to stack everybody on the left side. Ooh, nice dig. Orzel with the bump set to Thomas Ilara off the block. Thomas Ilara is just so powerful. To pack that much punch in an arm swing is incredible. It's been an adjustment for her, a different system. You know, she got every set the last four years at Northwestern, and she's had to find her way into this Wisconsin offense. Their summer trip to Europe was massive for Thomas Ilar. Just kind of get acclimated, get some extra reps, more playing time with his team before the season got going. Winnis attacking on the right. Gooch to Kim will set up Franklin. 
Swindle back to Phillips. I mean, wow. All right, Anna. Well, timing of the Texas block, I'm not sure if they lost sight of it or their timing was off, but Anna Smrek uses her length to go over Texas. Four kills for Smrek, no errors. Attacking error for Burkmark. Swindle needs to get a little bit more under that ball. You six nine six seven six four six three six two. Bunch yeah. of LeBron James's, Jimmy Butler's, Jamal Murray. You know, big time NBA stars. If you want the the reference. And right there, the block felt in full force by Texas. From pin to pin, and then Sarah Franklin, 13 and white, finally able to shut down Wenis on that right side swing. 4-0 run for Wisconsin. They're the number one blocking team in the nation, just over three blocks per set. Phillips. Wenis with the roll. Hamill back to Franklin. Smrek on the right side. And it ricochets off of Maddie Skinner all the way over the net and out. And Orjo lucky to get away with this one. I don't think she realized if it was in or out. She tracks the ball all the way back to that in line. But a great swing by Smrek. Maddie Skinner just can't hold on to it. Orjo. Lucky this, she didn't touch it. Did you see Kelly Sheffield in the corner? It's safe. <laughs> the sound of that ball coming off Anna Smrek's hand was pretty powerful. It's wide point, Wisconsin. That's six straight. Do you see how sharp of an angle Molly Phillips was trying to swing? That's what this block does to you. You don't feel like you have anywhere to go, so you have to swing sharp angle. And unfortunately, that one goes just a little bit wide. So Mariana Singletary, number 11 in burnt orange, is going to sub in as Texas stuck in this rotation. They'll set her immediately. Wisconsin. I don't think Maddie Skinner's think, meant to send it. And it's a 7-0 run. Texas will take a time. Dad Mike won a couple of titles with the Lakers. It was a second round pick in 1985 in the NBA draft. Seven straight points for Wisconsin. Molly Phillips ends the run by the Badgers. They call Molly Phillips the surgeon. She's so precise, doesn't have the heaviest arm, but knows how to find open court. And at six foot five, she's got lots of range. by Halter. Maddie Skinner. Franklin this time goes roll. Singletary in the middle. Hamill back to Sarah Franklin for a third time. What a rally. Franklin has to hustle. Barnes was waiting. Phillips, we keep going. Molly Phillips ends the longest rally of the match. So many good digs in that last rally. Watch Molly Phillips on the right side. She and Mari Singletary take care of that block for Texas. MJ Hamill immediately telling Sarah Franklin, that's my bad.
because she felt like she set her too tight right into that block. It was at least three swings in that rally for Sarah Easily. Franklin alone. Maybe four. She's got to be ready to go again. That drops in. The block. Molly Phillips back to back. And Singletary in on the block. She's known as an offensive middle, but she's getting it done on the defensive side. Look at how big and physical she is as a defender at the net. And that's the reason why Jared Elliott went from Bella Bergmark to Singletary, hoping to provide a well deserved. As you can tell, they are incredible athletes. This is such a fun sport to watch. There's always something athletic happening. And plenty left to happen tonight. Just set two between these two heavyweights. Phillips just had to set it so over. Smart. And yes, so smart, so they're scrambling. Rather than taking a bad approach because that ball is coming over your shoulder and taking a bad swing, possibly an error, she just stays on the ground in this situation, gets her feet under it, and just puts it in a really good spot. She goes to zone two, Hamill unable to get there in time. Molly Phillips helping Texas catch back up within four now. Franklin coming in, she got hands. High flat off the Texas block, Sarah Franklin scores point 16 for Wisconsin. I feel like sometimes we forget about Molly Phillips because there's so many powerful arms, but she is such a vital piece of Texas's attack. You can't forget about her, especially if you're Wisconsin's block. In that situation, you expect because Swindle's so close to Phillips, she might set outside. I love that she went to Phillips in that situation in close proximity. It's coming back over. Wisconsin got it back. Swindle to Skinner. Back corner. And Maddie Skinner needed that. She went a little bit quiet. Molly Phillips and some other players picked it up. You talked about Molly Phillips. In December, she's hitting 476. Wow. And, and, wow. and that climbed from like the 130s in August, late August. She arrived at Texas as a middle blocker. Her sophomore season moved to the opposite. And you feed the hot hand. The location of that set from Ella Swindle allows Molly Phillips to get on top of that ball quickly. It's so fast, right? So she's able to beat the big Wisconsin block here going in between that seam. Seven to one run for Texas. Early in the season, that was lacking that right side offense as well as the middle and both areas for Texas have improved. Wiping up some moisture on the Wisconsin side of the floor. Now we're set to go. Emma Halter's been impressive defensively. Watch her put some extra pop on that ball going down the line. Gets a piece of the Wisconsin passer, Franklin, off her left arm. Point Wisconsin. That ends the run for Texas. It was four straight points. They were within one. 17-15 is the score here in set two. Wisconsin up by two. And Skinner is long. Wisconsin back-to-back -back points. This set has been a game of runs. Just when Texas worked themselves back in, they give a couple free points to Wisconsin, and now you've got a three-point lead. That one.
one goes wide on Izzy Ashburn. Both teams trying to set up their defense with aggressive serving. She's dug by Barnes. O'Connor with the set to Skinner, and there's Carter Booth and her block. In that inside set that Texas likes to run that works against most teams is not working against Wisconsin right now. If Maddie Skinner wants to work inside that block, she needs to hit it sharper. But Carter Booth all over that at six foot seven. Nice left hand press defensively. Five blocks for Wisconsin. O'Neal, call in corner pocket. Asia O'Neal running behind the setter in a slide situation is her bread and butter. Off one foot, so dynamic, threads the needle, not only down the line, but it hits that deep center line as well. And Great that's, shot. And that's why they call it the slide queen. Yes, well-deserved title. Makes it look so easy. Burn to Robinson. She got it too. Devin Robinson, same corner from the right side. I think Devin Robinson has such great range. She does. We've seen her go cross court, but she's been attacking the line against Texas deep. They go back to the slide, and it just goes right in CeCe Crawford's face. Hit, throw, doesn't matter. She finds a way. This will be a free ball back to Wisconsin. Ashburn backside to Robinson. She established that line power that time going off the inside hand of the middle blocker cross court. Devin Robinson, such an amazing offensive weapon on the right. Wisconsin just stresses you at all times. Robinson obviously lethal, showing her range. She checks out of the game, but then comes in Anna Streck, who obviously has a size advantage over everyone on the court. Yeah, it's not going to get better mm -hmm. when it's they rotate. It's not going to get easier. No, no. Winnis tries to tip into Anna Spreck, and that is a problem. And again, what we see from the blockers of Wisconsin, Anna Schmreck doesn't go out to the right side pin. She actually stays in the middle. CeCe Crawford stays on that outside pin. She's able to get a good block. Blocking schemes by Wisconsin are paying off. Thomas Ilara, sharp angle in Texas, called in the net. Wisconsin two points away from evening the match. Singletary inserted later into this match here in set two. Again, Anna Smrek attacking out at the middle of the court, showing her versatility. Again, over the top. She's so long, and that's tough to defend when she goes deep. 
and you can see it from Texas's coaches on the sidelines. They kind of just shrug because there's nothing you can do defensively when she's going over the top like that. Set point, Wisconsin. Molly Phillips. Seven kills for Molly Phillips. She has been a bright spot offensively in the second set for Texas. Both teams finding a lot of success on the right side, whether that's on slides, going behind the setter, or just setting the right side pins. Molly Phillips, slide hitters from Texas, as well as Robinson and Schmeck for Wisconsin. Second set point, Wisconsin. Here comes Schmreck. Bergmark back in for Texas in the middle. Cece Crawford to the floor, and Wisconsin has even the match. We will at least play four. Blocks for Wisconsin on the night. And Guljay Guchtekin will start serving for the Badgers. Bergmark in the middle, back in the match and ready to go. And that's been a bright spot. Bella Bergmark has, was known as a defensive middle blocker, but she's been connecting with Ella Swindle much better on that little one push set. Franklin passed that from her knees and still got back up to get a swing off. And again, coming back over, CC Crawford takes it. Dug by Swindle. Dug by Halter. Gooch to Kim with the up. And Asia O'Neill with the cannon. How do you not love college volleyball? Did you see the sick plays we just all back? Went to start that rally and then Asia O'Neill cross body one on one out of the middle to end that long rally. Skinner off hands. And there you see the adjustment. Maddie Skinner much more aggressive, hitting away from Schreck, who was on the outside, working the inside hand of CeCe Crawford. You don't have to bounce balls, right? You just got to be able to get kills, get points, string them together. And that's a great start for Maddie Skinner on the outside. Towels on both sides of the court. When you have scrappy play and players diving all over the floor, you're going to have to wipe up some sweat. Three straight for Texas to start this set three. Going at Franklin. Anna Schmreck. And Anna Schmreck is up to nine kills, no errors. Well, Kelly Sheffield talked about the high contact point. You see it here by Anna Smrek. She just reaches, keeps it high, doesn't try to hit the ball straight down using her length effectively. It's going to readjust. Guchtikin setting up Franklin. Jay Hamill back to Sarah Franklin. And it ricochets off of Skinner. This is the signature swing by Sarah Franklin. Thumb down, look at her get on top of that ball, crushing that ball in the sharp angle for the Wisconsin point. That gives her nine kills. She's coming off 20 kills against Oregon. Cross court for Molly Phillips. 
Molly Phillips was hot for Texas, Texas in the second set, hit 272, while the rest of her team hit zero. swing this is her superpower inside the block and to be able to do that against Asia O'Neill who has such a strong inside left hand makes it even more impressive back in her home state she's from Lake Worth Florida her family about three hours away her grandmother who she calls Grammy actually bought a suite so her family is inside Emily Arena cheering her on it's a heck of a Grammy to buy a whole suite for the family. I love it. Good she, on you, Grammy. She was expecting 30, 40 friends and family to come support her tonight. Franklin looking to turn it. It's long, and she immediately looks to Kelly Sheffield to pull the green challenge card. confirmed there was no touch so Wisconsin will not have any more challenges unless we go to a fifth set Texas has both challenges remaining it's coming over Asia O'Neal loves that Served up on a platter. This is every middle blocker's dream and overpass for the taking. Her dad, Jermaine O'Neal, has become one of the biggest volleyball fans that we know. Of what course, a six-time NBA All-Star. What a travel schedule he has this oh, week. Yeah. Her brother is playing basketball in the Bahamas, so he's flying back and forth. He's actually the coach. Yes. We'll head out tomorrow to coach and come back if Texas wins. Swindle looking at Tom Gigi all over it. Skinner back row. The defense for Texas is much improved in this third set. They're throwing their body behind the ball, keeping it alive. And Emma Halter's been fantastic. Look at again, we get to see Maddie Skinner out of the back row from the middle of the court where she's been very effective. To think that Emma Halter's filling in for Zoe Fleck, who is such a phenomenal Libro for Texas. I love what Jared Elliott told us. He said before this season started, Zoe Fleck met with Emma Halter and said, you're gonna be better than me. How empowering. And that's what Zoe Fleck does. She's a connector. Over the Libro jersey from the great Zoe Fleck, but Man, she's been good. I think she came in last year unafraid, was helping the team defensively, didn't have all the pressure on her. This year was different. An ace for the Longhorns. Maddie Skinner scoring from the service line. Six straight points for Texas. You see the ace leaders in the NCAA tournament. Skinner on this list. Asia O'Neill. Third kill on the slide tonight. But it starts with Maddie Skinner in middle back, putting this defensive ball in system so that Swindle can set Asia O'Neill on the slide. Great pass, great run. 7-0 run now. Oh, 
Devin Robinson. Blocked. And now Texas doing things defensively. We saw it in the backcourt, now we're seeing it at the net. Isn't it wild how drastically the momentum can shift back and forth between two teams? Wisconsin grabbed it right at the end of the first set, carried it into that second set. We saw them go on a 7-0 run in set two. Now it's Texas on an 8-0 run here in set three. Oh, what a serve. Pepper, you got to update your graphics. She's climbing that list. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie Skinner finding ways to score for Texas. It hasn't always been easy in the front row, but now serving up aces for Texas. Because of the work they've been putting in in the gym every day. More than any other team he's had in one season, the growth has been tremendous. Oh my gosh! Just reach in your back pocket and pull out an ace, Maddie Skinner. An ace or three or four. Such a nice job contacting this ball and dropping it right before Guchtekin. In serving that seam between Franklin and Guchtekin. And so they're gonna make a substitution. Wisconsin will bring in Jocelyn Boyer, number one in white, as Texas has scored 10 straight points. Madison Skinner with three aces. Still out of system, it's a free ball back to Texas. When it's calling for it, tooling the block. Wow, Jenna Winnis staying aggressive when that was a scary block in front of her. Carter Booth and Devin Robinson. Winnis able to tool them out of bounds. by Halter. And a center line violation on Texas. That ends an 11-0 run. Missed opportunity, right? I mean, that transition set is too tight to the net when you're playing a team like Wisconsin. You give your hitter nowhere to go, no options, unfortunately, when you set them that inside and that tight. Wisconsin hands the momentum right back to Texas with a service error. Bevo right behind Asia O'Neill. Timmy Thomas Ilara. Swindle to Winnis. Much better set there, giving Jenna Wenis room to work around that big block. You see, they like to leave it inside, so she's got that cut back down the line, and she works it inside that middle blocker's left hand. So this set is obviously less than ideal for Wisconsin, and you could say that this might be a foregone conclusion because they have so much work that they've got to do, right? So Holly, how do, how do you think of this set if you're Wisconsin? Like, let's just try to steal back as much momentum before we go to four here. Definitely, we saw that at the end of the first set. Wisconsin was able to grab momentum. They didn't win the first set, but they took it into the second set and dominated that one. Service error by Asia O'Neill that ends a 12 to one run that has rocketed Texas out to the 17 to five lead here in set three. Wisconsin is hitting zero in this set. And a service error again, their last two serves. You talk about the offense, Wisconsin hitting zero, Texas red hot hitting 500 in this set. Going with Crawford. Winnis is blocked by Crawford and Robinson. 
Crawford goes to work, works her inside hand. Watch her left hand press over and cut that ball off. Thought it was left hand. I can't tell if that was Robinson or Crawford, but beautiful defensive work at the net. First big block we've seen from Wisconsin in quite some time. That's a credit to Texas's attackers being able to move the ball and hit different shots. It's their first block in this set. Skinner flying, soaring out of the back row for a kill. Lately, Maddie Skinner's been more effective out of the back row than from the front with that big block in front of her. This is the big set, the back row quick behind that three meter line is where she has to take off. And she has been really good from back there. She can land anywhere as long as both feet take off behind that line. Thomas I Laura with the power, but the dig by Halter. And then Maddie Skinner to terminate. She's got 11 kills. Emma Halter is taking care of defense in the backcourt. Look at her throw her body behind that ball. And then Maddie Skinner turns it down the line deep in transition. Against almost any defense in the country, Thomas Ilara would have a kill there. Somewhere Zoe Fleck is smiling watching Emma Halter. There you go. Timmy Thomas Ilara with the kill. And she makes a good adjustment hitting away from Emma Halter going to that deep corner where there's no defender. So Wisconsin will stick with Jocelyn Boyer, who was inserted here in set three, a transfer from Iowa. And she gets an ace. Not an easy role to step in off the bench and attack from the service line. But Jocelyn Boyer, look at her pop this ball. That has a ton of movement. It drops ahead of Emma Halter, the passer. Her eighth ace of the season. So our Franklin dug by Halter everywhere. And a net violation on Wisconsin. Emma Halter is having a heck of a third set here. Heck of a match, quite frankly. Look at the movement, so disciplined. Able to get down, pop that ball up. So our attackers can take a big swing. 16 digs for Emma Halter. And Schmreck blocked by Skinner. Schmreck just goes inside. High contact point, driving that ball inside Asia O'Neal. If you're Wisconsin, can you rattle off as many points as possible to try to steal some momentum back before you go to the fourth set? It's set tight, that's all that Franklin could do. But it was enough, she sends Texas scrambling. Nice save play by Sarah Franklin. That one gets away from Texas. <laughs> Service error, Wisconsin. Wisconsin out of system. Look at Sarah Franklin spin around, work to get behind that ball and find that opening deep down the line. Here comes Asia O'Neal on the slide. 
Such a fun play to watch develop. And Texas has done this nice job putting balls in play for Ella Swindle to be able to get her middles involved. And then you see how important it is for Ella Swindle to get comfortable setting behind. Mm -hmm. Again, she struggled with that earlier in the season, but her staying on the floor to set has really helped with her balance. Wisconsin trying to answer with a slide of their own. Skinner too wide, point Wisconsin. She's been mostly going cross body. That's the first time she went wrist away. Not sure if the block forced her that way, but the defense of Texas has been giving them opportunities to score. from Ella Swindle. When you need a point, call your own number and throw down. She's been successful. What is she, four for four tonight on her dumps? Four for six. Yep. Oh. That's a good stat perfect. line. Yeah, it is. Four kills, 33 assists, five digs. That's the most power we've seen out of Timmy Thomas Alara. Timmy Thomas Alara. This is the most powerful big swing. I feel like Wisconsin knows oh, yeah. that this is crucial. They need to put some energy into getting momentum back on their side. What a rip. Still set point, Texas. Winnis. Almost a collision between Devin Robinson and Sarah Franklin. Madison Skinner to the floor. Texas has a two to one lead in this match. Just a dumb is in a position they've been in very often. No. Switch. It's Wisconsin, though. A must-win set for the Badgers, a win for Texas. They are going to the championship on Sunday, and we start with a service error. And now Wisconsin's got that powerful front row defensive combination of Carter Booth and Anna Spratt in the front row with Sarah Franklin. Phillips tipping over the block of Franklin and Booth. And that was a double quick behind the setter. Ella Swindle feeling really confident. You see Bergmark go for that little back one and then the ball set a little wider to Molly Phillips. First meeting between these two teams since 2018. Texas has not beaten Wisconsin since 2006. And there's the ace. The service pressure has really been the difference the last two sets. Every time you talk to a head coach, no matter the match, they're going to tell you, we've got to win the serve pass mm -hmm. game. That's how important it is. Sprack! And there for Wisconsin, you get a great pass, which allows Hamill to set up Schmeck on the right side. But Anna Schmeck scores, and then she's off the court. Mm -hmm. And that's her 11th kill. She has no errors tonight, hitting 550. But yeah, she rotates out. Devin Robinson over there now. It's going over. Carter Booth knew it. He's O'Neal did too. And Maddie Skinner gets a kill off of that. Look at this throwdown. Asia O'Neill usually battles at the net. That time she scoops up that dig, and Maddie Skinner takes care of business. O'Neill is such an all around volleyball player. She can dig, she can play defense, she can also step in and set the second ball if need be to an outside pin. She's so well rounded. Her story incredible in her sixth season. She's had two open heart surgeries, one of those after her redshirt sophomore year. 
hoping to play in Paris in the Olympics for Team USA next summer. Interesting game for Maddie Skinner. She started off hot, went a little bit quiet because of the block, and then look at her work this ball inside of Carter Booth's left hand. Great Matt, swing. Maddie Skinner, six kills in the first set, just one in set two, but six kills in set three. Robinson looking for the slide that's a bit long. Wisconsin likes to stack all their hitters on the left side, so they have that movement. Devin Robinson going off the slide. Carter Bruce staying in the middle. That looks good for Carter Booth. Texas blockers there, but late on the press, and Carter Booth able to score for Wisconsin on the quick. And that's her first kill tonight for Carter Booth. Wow. She is hitting in the negative. One kill on eight swings. A player that usually hits 444, third in the nation. <laughs> the up from Akana. Wisconsin still going, Timmy Thomas and Laura! Never giving up on the play. I love this from Akana, she just sits in here, digs it straight up, and Wisconsin matches it with great defensive pursuit, and Thomas Ilara gets the kill. Asia O'Neal on the slide. Side, Laura Halter is there. Skinner. Second slide is good. I'm not sure how Asia O'Neill hit <laughs> that know. angle, but it was pretty impressive trying to avoid the Wisconsin block. This ball is set from off the net, a little bit deeper than Asia O'Neill wants it but she goes cross body and hits it inside the defense. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> she is five for nine on the slide tonight. Not bad. Wow. Again, Maddie Skinner with four aces tonight. That is a new career high. In the tough serving has taken Carter Booth out of the offense. In the NCAA tournament, Carter Booth was hitting 472. That is a huge weapon that Wisconsin has not been able to use tonight. Yeah, she is in the negative tonight. Ellis <laughs> Swindle getting a block. Yes, off of 24. Well, she's got, they've scored 18 points off of her 24 wow. serves. Wow, wow, wow. And she now has the lead. Pepper confirms. <laughs> Way to stick with it if you're Wisconsin. It's just hard to stop that. Yeah, it is. Texas controlling the ball defensively, and then they've got the weapons. Asia O'Neill. The slide queen able to score on the right side and the Texas Longhorns are feeling it. A 5-0 run. Asia O'Neill, no attacking errors. She's hitting 667. Wow. 
Wow. The service pressure has Wisconsin all out of sorts. Six aces. And Wisconsin is going to use its final timeout. What is making that team? Had it transferred to Texas? She didn't love the game when she left Kentucky. She was trying to refine that passion for volleyball. And at Texas, she refound it. I mean, she has said every aspect of her life has improved because she went to Texas and the people that he, she is around on a daily basis. And now to think that I mean, she was great last year, the year before when she was at Kentucky. She is playing her best volleyball right now. Touch kill for Timmy Thomas Ilara. That ends a 6 0 run by Texas. Again, this is a must win set for Wisconsin. A win for Texas, and they are going to the championship match to face Nebraska on Sunday. Coming back over, but outside the antenna, so that is out. It was outside the antenna when it crossed over the net. Texas hitting 506 kills on 12 swings in this set. Wow. Wisconsin hitting 154. A Wisconsin team that's second in the nation in hitting percentage. They hit 313 on the season. Robinson readjusting and sends it long. I just don't think you can say it enough. Texas is stressing Wisconsin right now so badly from the service line. They are out of system. Yes, they have all these weapons running a 6-2, but they are out of system so often that their offense has become one-dimensional. Everybody's getting involved. That tough service pressure. Texas attacking the seams and really putting a lot of pace on this ball. Asia O'Neill going between Orgel and Franklin right in the seam. That is 10 aces for Texas. Six for Maddie Skinner. Back to back. A season high 11 aces for Texas. Wisconsin doesn't have any timeouts left. Last week in Palo Alto, it was about the blocks, but now it's about the service. Just getting in the way. I, you could hear the sound. And it sounded like it hurt. It did. Could you imagine having that much, over here? <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine having that much pop on your ball? And this just sends it over. MJ Hamill going to CC Crawford. will get the block and she's on the right side usually in the middle big time block big time momentum play can you use that and start to cut this deficit down you got to be able to go on a run if you're wisconsin with your serve swindle to skinner back row 16 kills for maddie skinner it's just such a good run. You've got two blockers in front of you, and yet you're able to cut that ball wrist away back to zone five and beat Orgel. Coming back over on the Texas side. Phillips, saved by Orzel with one hand. Free ball to the Longhorns. Bird mark in the middle. And it 
goes out point Texas. It feels like Texas is ahead in every play. That Wisconsin's responding to whatever Texas does. And advantage Texas. They're unable to control the ball and attack back. And that puts Texas ahead every play. with the hammer is what you're used to seeing. That, from start to finish, you were in full control of. Great pass from Franklin. Allows Hamill to set up a 31 ball, and Shrek goes straight through the block. Look at the urgency. You got to have it. If you're Wisconsin, you got to go now. What is the answer for that? Wisconsin hasn't found it. We talked about how effective she is out of the back row. Good pass by Wenis. And then Swindle locates that ball perfectly for Maddie Skinner out of the back row. 17 kills for Maddie Skinner. Double contact called on Texas. Point Wisconsin. Emma Halter everywhere. Service error makes it 19 to 9. Texas getting closer to the championship match. Carter Booth with her second kill of the match. Nice placement. Heads up play by Carter Booth, recognizing I got a block in front of me, just place this tip just out of reach of the defense. Wisconsin needs some stops, and that starts with their defense. In. Or with an ace. Izzy Ashburn, one of the best servers on this Wisconsin team, catches the back line. The career leader in aces at Wisconsin. She's also played more matches than any other player in Wisconsin history. Skinner. Madison Skinner hit zero through the first two sets. Since then, she's hitting 900. This is a really nice run by Swindle here. They hold with the middle and the right side, which allows Maddie Skinner to go up in a one-on-one -on -one situation and get a monster kill. Six aces for her, the most in a semifinal or championship match in NCAA history. And that's gonna be a double called against the Longhorns. But Texas touching a lot of balls defensively, getting positive block touches. They're in the play. They missed two opportunities with the double on the second contact. Service error. Texas needs four more points. Wisconsin not doing themselves any favors from the service line right now. They've had 11 service errors tonight. Meanwhile, Texas has had 11 aces. Thomas Ilara again, it's tight. Texas ball. Back row attack. 
I believe is the call for Wisconsin. She motioned for back row attack. Yeah. But they called an illegal attack and I saw the back row attack motion come out for Wisconsin. No argument there by Wisconsin. Just long for Madison Skinner. And I think Jarrett Elliott will be okay with that. She's had six aces tonight. Again, back into the block. Third time the Wisconsin block prevails. Good discipline by Wisconsin to go three for three in blocks against Jenna Winnis. Nice coverage from Texas, but again, just sealing that net time and time again. Texas first contact in serve receive has been really good. They're putting the ball right in freshman setter Ella Swindle's hands. Look at she doesn't even have to take a step and she's able to put that ball in a juicy spot for Asia O'Neal. How fun is it to set a slide with a hitter oh, like Asia O'Neal? So fun. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what it's like and, setting. Yeah. Asia <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, I can imagine. <laughs> yes. Hands, Timmy Thomas Ilara. Wisconsin needs to put some service pressure. Anna Smrex in the front row. She can affect this game. Little to Bella Bergmark. It was touched at its match point, Texas. Skinner, the bump set to Winnis. And a double called on Jenna Winnis. Second match point coming.
response from Texas. It was all Texas in set three. If you're Wisconsin.